All right, so in this equation, I have 2 to the power of x squared over 4 to the power of x is equal to 16. So I want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'm going to start by rewriting 4 as 2 squared and 16 as 2 to the power of 4 so that all my terms are in powers of 2. So I get 2 to the power of x squared over 2 squared to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 4. Now from here, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x, I can rewrite that as 4 to the power of x, which is equal to 2 to the power of 4. And, oops, sorry, this is not 4 to the power of x. This is actually 2 to the power of 2x, which is equal to 2 to the power of 4. And now from here, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So in this case, m is x squared and n is 2x. So I get 2 to the power of x squared minus 2x is equal to 2 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, m is x squared minus 2x and n is 4, so I get x squared minus 2x is equal to 4. And now if I subtract 4 on both sides, these two cancel out, and I get x squared minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. Now from here, to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 2, and c is equal to negative 4. So I get x is equal to negative of negative 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared. So negative 2 squared, which is 4, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 4, all over 2a. So 2 times 1. And this is equal to positive 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 4 times 1 times negative 4, which is 4 plus 16 over 2. And this is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 20 over 2. Now... We can actually simplify this. The square root of 20 is the same thing as the square root of 5 times 4, which we can rewrite as the square root of 5 times the square root of 4. And the square root of 4 is equal to 2, so this is equal to 2 root 5. So now I get x is equal to 2 plus or minus 2 root 5 over 2. And now if I divide both these terms by 2, I get x is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x plus 7. So I actually have two methods to solve this problem. So make sure to stick around for the video to see me solve both methods. So for my first method, method 1, I'm going to write my problem right here. 2 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x plus 7. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 5 to the power of x plus 7, I can write that as 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of 7.
And now from here, I'm gonna divide both sides by five to the power of x. So then these two cancel out and I get two to the power of x over five to the power of x is equal to five to the power of seven. Now from here, an important property of the exponents is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 2 to the power of x over 5 to the power of x is equal to 2 over 5. And another property is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So 2 over 5 to the power of x. And this is equal to 5 to the power of 7. Now from here, <clears throat> I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I get log 2 over 5 to the power of x is equal to log 5 to the power of 7. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so I get b times log a. In this case, I have log 2 over 5 to the power of x, so I can move x to the front, and I have log 5 to the power of 7, so I can move 7 to the front. So I get x times log 2 over 5 is equal to 7 times log 5. Now from here, we obviously want to find the value of x, so to do that, we have to get rid of log 2 over 5 by dividing both sides by log 2 over 5. So then these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 7 times log 5 over log 2 over 5. And we have our answer here. This is our solution, but there is a way to simplify it more. So first off, if I have something in the form log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So log 2 over 5, that's going to equal log 2 minus log 5. And now from here, I get 7 times log 5 over log 2 minus log 7 times log 5 over log 5. And these two cancel out, so I get 7 times log 5 over log 2 minus 7. And this is the same thing as 7 of log base 2 of 5 minus 7. Now for method 2. What I can do is my equation was 2 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x plus 7. And now I'm going to just start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log 2 to the power of x is equal to log 5 to the power of x plus 7. And now using that property, I get x times log 2 is equal to x plus 7 times log 5. And now if I distribute the log 5, I get x times log 2 is equal to x times log 5 plus 7 times log 5. Now if I subtract x times log 5 on both sides, these two cancel out and I get x times log 2 
minus x times log 5 is equal to 7 times log 5. Now I can factor out x, so I get x times log 2 minus log 5 is equal to 7 times log 5. And divide log 2 minus log 5 on both sides. So these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 7 times log 5 over log 2 minus log 5, <coughs> which again simplifies to this. So x equals 7 times log base 2 of 5 minus 7 is my answer.